Hey everybody, this is Sterling Koza here for jazzpianoschool.com. In today's podcast, we're showing you the chords that you'll need to capture that 70s Herbie funk sound. And you can have access to the free practice materials for this podcast online at jazzpianoschool.com forward slash podcast 150. All right, hope you're ready. Let's get into it. All right, here it is, the secret to sounding like 70s Herbie. Now tell me if you recognize this sound. Now this is a chord voicing that you'll hear a lot on albums like Herbie Hancock's Headhunters, Sunlight, Thrust, a lot of great records coming out of that time period. And Herbie really codified this sort of funky sound in the 70s in this jazz fusion movement. Now this chord itself is very simple. It's just one shape that you can alternate back and forth and move through different keys. Now if we're in B flat, the chord is going to start with an A flat on the bottom, a C, and an F. Now that looks like a triad that we might already be familiar with. If you put it down one inversion, it's really like an F minor triad over B flat. Now that's almost the sound, but really to get that Herbie sound, we want to have the second inversion with the F on top. Now what you heard me doing earlier was switching between two chords one whole step apart. So we're building the first chord off of A flat, and the second starts a whole step up on B flat. B flat, D, G. Try putting those chords together. Now in context, it'll sound something like this. Now you may have heard me go between the chords chromatically, and that's something you'll hear, hear Herbie do a lot. All we're doing here is going up in half steps. So again, that's starting on A flat, going up to A as the root, and then up to B flat. So then in context, you get this sound. That really adds a lot of interest to this sort of riff that you can create. Now let's try it in some other keys. If we were playing a blues form with this sort of funky feel, we'd go up to the four chord, which would be E flat. Let's try it in E flat. Now if E flat's our root, what note is it gonna start on? An easy way to think about it is a note a whole step below the root. In E flat, that would be D flat. So if we're building the chord, again, it's this sort of minor triad in first inversion. In this case, it's sort of a B flat minor triad. So our notes are D flat, F, and B flat. And a whole step up from that would be E flat, G, and C. Let's try those two together. Now we can riff on that one for a little bit. with that you can add in sort of the chromatic motion upwards so 
So let's put those two together. Now all we're missing in the form of a blues is our five chord. In the key of B flat, our five chord is going to be F. Now we could just use the normal transposition of the chord going up from B flat to E flat to F. And our chord would look like a first inversion minor chord with E flat on the bottom, G and C. But let's change things up a little bit. Now what we can do is try a different inversion of this chord. And I might go down to here with an E flat on top. I like this combination of chords because when I go up to its partner chord a whole step up, it gives me sort of this F13 sound. Now all I did was take that same chord that we already learned and just use a different iteration of it, a different inversion. And this can work in all keys. So again, my F chord, my five chord is gonna look like this. So I've got, instead of E flat, I've got G on the bottom. G, C, E flat, A, D, F. If I wanted to go down to E flat, I could just transpose it down another whole step. And then that'll lead us back to our one chord of B flat. Now using these new chord voicings, let's play a blues in sort of a funky Herbie style. Here we go. I hope you all enjoyed this week's podcast and are one step closer to capturing that Herbie sound. Now don't forget to check out the practice materials online at jazzpianoschool.com forward slash podcast 150. And as always, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out free online content. We're posting a lick of the week every Monday and new podcasts coming out every Wednesday. Okay, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.